Hey guys, welcome back to the Value Investing Funds podcast. In this episode, we will discuss about a potential opportunity, which is a five to ten x in our opinion, and uh, why do we think so? We'll just basically cover the whole thesis, and hopefully, you'll learn a couple things. Uh, this is basically for also for people who uh, missed on to the pump in uh, Vax and uh, Mana. So I think, you can, as you can see over here, the top gaming uh, great gaming is starting to get into the narrative now. Because the gaming market is so huge, uh, and crypto is trying to take over it, and I think crypto adoption is going to go up with the with the use of like the metaverse and everything else. So you can look at the gaming talk, uh, gaming tokens, Axie Infinity, Decentraland, Sandbox, uh, all of these uh, these three. Uh, Axie has been is a larger market cap, that's why I didn't see the amount of pump that the other two saw. But uh, yeah, so we'll just cover uh, the alternatives to Decentraland and Sandbox. We did buy Decentraland at point eight. Uh, the quantity wasn't like massive, but we did we. Did four C because just the uh, just our exposure in the NFT space kind of allowed us to look at the space earlier as compared to uh, like some other coins that we thought be it would pump eventually. So yeah, we'll just discuss about this and we'll go from go from there. So uh, one thing that I want so the token that we're going to talk about is Wax. Uh, this is one of my favorite coins and I feel like a lot of people are uh, avoiding it. The reason why we talk, we we like this we're going to talk about this and hopefully. It will make sense. So, if you look at the sales volume for Wax, you can see the growth has been very consistent. So, uh, in June it was about ten billion dollars. In July it was ten billion dollars. August ten billion dollars. September ten billion dollars. In October the sales just exploded. In the first five days of November it's already at twenty five million. So, if they go on to this pace, uh, I think like the Saturday and the Sunday sales are not. Factored in, so the five days, which is weekdays, I think they're going to double the sales volume in this month when the NFT market has started to slow down quite a bit. So you can see the growth has been very substantial over the last months. So I think uh, I think this is going to be a huge uh, boost for them. So we'll just talk about what Wax is and go over a couple of things. So what Wax is is Wax is a marketplace. So like think about it as uh, basically the eBay for game in-game assets. So what how in-game assets work? People will be like, why would someone spend in-game money on in-game assets? So the way the gaming is going to work, right? You play a game, you uh, unlock a, sp a special like axe or like a special weapon, like a special gun or something. If you have played Fortnite, you probably know a lot of people spend a lot of money on getting the uh, the assets, the skins, and everything else to get those extra traits. Uh, so what was going to happen is some some people spend a lot of money on certain games. And they like they're able to unlock certain items, so they're able to buy certain items. And when they want to quit the game, those purchases are basically useless. So what the crypto gaming thing is going to do is you can actually like unlock assets, and then you can sell those assets afterwards for a monetary value. So that's going to like bring uh, more people into the space, and also it's going to help people to like basically be able to sell those assets if they don't don't want to play the game anymore. They can just sell the asset, move on, and stuff like that. So what Wax does is Wax is basically a, a marketplace. Wax is a website which allows people like you and me to set up our own uh, marketplace on on the platform so basically it's like shopify or it's like one of those uh, online apps that allows you to open your own store so if someone who wants to open their own uh, own uh, like own marketplace for a certain game you can go and build it so this is going to lead to a lot of liquidity in the market and, and stuff like that so the thing is the reason why we like wax and what are what why we why, why we are saying it's 5 10 x potential is you look at the market cap but the market cap is very small it's like less than a billion dollars right now uh, less than a billion dollars market cap means that the growth potential is higher. And if you look at the uh, if you look at the staked amount, so what what is given like there's a certain, in crypto there's a certain certain thing called staking. So what staking does is you basically if you believe in a project for long term, you just take it, you just put it in the treasury, and then that earns a certain amount of interest. Ninety two ninety three percent of the wax that is in total circulation is staked right now. So what that means is the total supply on on exchanges. Or totally supply with everyone who has wax is about seven percent. So that means that if you're looking at the market cap, right, like nine hundred fifty billion dollars or whatever, only fifty or sixty million dollars, if if of the nine fifty million dollars is available for people to buy and sell. So if the demand comes into this token, the price is going to shoot. Like it's going to go parabolic in a very short period of time. And the long term potential of wax is very very strong. The the team behind wax is very strong as well. So. Uh, I would suggest that someone. We, uh, I think uh, we have exposure. This is not financial advice, so I, I th we have. We would say that it's kind of uh, good to look into this token because we think it's going to go parabolic, just like Mana and Decentraland. Oh, sorry, Decentraland and Sandbox did. So also, if you invested in FTT and you feel like it's not moving, that is something that I think is always going to happen when you're looking for like low risk uh, cryptos. So what I can tell you is still our our thesis and our 
target of three to five x is still intact and that gain is going to come into a in a very short period of time maybe a two or three week period where it's just going to go parabolic uh so the target of 200 dollars is still intact nothing has changed but for wax we do have a target of like five to six x we uh, minimum and then it could actually go like really really high because the amount of supply in the market is very small and you need the token to like play certain games and everything else so if you uh, like people are holding it and they can't just like you know liquidate their wax so if the demand comes in which will eventually will the price will go higher because a lot of people will be building building on top of wax they'll be using wax and wax is actually so wax already has deals with the uh, atari which i think most of you will probably know about and tops and a couple other really famous companies already so this is a blockchain as as a as a show it is not like false promises that something is about to come in the next 2 3 5 10 years this is something that's already like in the process of getting built and everything is actually working on this blockchain so we do believe that this is actually a very good opportunity and everyone should have certain exposure to wax if they want to and uh, you can see it's it's on 70000 watch lists so people i think uh, people are watching this closely and i think it is it is going to go uh, going to go higher eventually if not uh, right away so yeah you can look at this like the, the pe- people like 20% or 20 less than 20% of the people which are in wax are in, in in decentraland so i think that is something that there i don't know what i said there but i think there's going to be a, a huge demand for this in the future so uh, you can also look at the look at the most used blockchains for nft gaming so you can look at ronin that's axi infinity this that's ethereum and wax is third solana's market cap is like almost what 70x of uh, of wax but uh, it, it's not getting used as much uh, as wax is right now and most of that could be you know attributed to a certain like very small amount of games but you can actually build uh, build stuff on top of this and i think this is going to happen in the future and the uh, the gaming uh, narrative is going to take over the supply is very small so even a small uh, increase in demand is going to lead the price to go high by quite a bit so just wanted to cover that guys if you want us to make a video on uh, our gaming uh, thesis and how gaming is going to change crypto and uh, why it's so important to have gaming assets and everything else we just leave a comment if you have five comments we will uh, or actually if you have 20 likes we will make a video on how to like look at gaming assets and why there's value to nfts why people are spending so much money on these things for no reason whatsoever i think uh, for me as well after spending some time in the space i'm starting to realize a little bit little bit more about it so if you want that, that educational content just uh, leave us a like and if any people like we will make the video so if you like this video guys please subscribe to the channel uh, and uh, look forward to some more stuff if you if you like it then we will make more content like this so take care guys and talk to you soon bye